On Wednesday, January 31st, 2018, people around the world will be able to look up and see a rare phenomenon, a super blue blood moon. Three separate lunar events will coincide in a highly unusual celestial matchup. What's a supermoon? A supermoon occurs when the moon is closest to Earth in its orbit and as a result appears about 14 times bigger than usual. What is a blue moon? A blue moon is when a second full moon occurs in the same calendar month. The last full moon was on the 1st of January 2018. So the full moon on the 31st of January will be the second. It does not mean the moon will turn blue. What is a blood moon? This is the exciting bit. A blood moon happens when the moon passes through the Earth's shadow, causing those in the right place to see a total lunar eclipse. It takes its name from the reddish tint the moon takes on when it is in the Earth's shadow. How often do we get a super blue blood moon? The last time these three lunar treats lined up was on December 30th, 1982, according to Ernest Wright, a programmer at the NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. But some reports say that this was only a blue moon for parts of the world and not others, and that the super blue blood moon was last visible in North America on the 31st of March, 1866. Either way, it won't happen again until 2037. Who gets the best views? Those those in Hawaii or on North America's west coast will get spectacular pre-dawn views, NASA says. People in the Middle East, Eastern Russia and Asia should also see it during uh, moonrise on the evening of the 31st of January. How excited should we be in the Caribbean? A little bit less so, sadly. We are not perfectly positioned for this eclipse. It starts at 5.51 a.m. Eastern Time, the same time zone as Jamaica, Cuba, the Cayman Islands and Haiti. When the Earth starts to cast its shadow on the moon, but the eclipse takes a while and by the time it is fully in the shadow and turning blood red, the moon will have faded in the Caribbean nations and the sun will be up. So should you look up? Why not? Take a moment and see what you can see. For those of us hit by Unlucky Geography, NASA will be streaming it live and photographers around the world will be snapping pictures and uh, says NASA in 2019 there is a lunar eclipse coming which we will be able to see much better from the Caribbean. The January 31st supermoon will feature a total lunar eclipse with totality viewable from Western North America across the Pacific to Eastern Asia. The moon's orbit around our planet is tilted, so it usually falls above or below the shadow of the Earth. About twice each year, a full moon lines up perfectly with the Earth and Sun, such that the Earth's shadow totally blocks the Sun's light, which would normally reflect off the moon. The lunar eclipse on January 31st will be visible during moonset. Folks in the eastern United States, where the eclipse will be partial, will have to get up in the morning to see it, notes Petro but it's another great chance to watch the moon. The moon will lose its brightness and take on an eerie, fainter-than-normal glow from the scant sunlight that makes its way through Earth's atmosphere. Often cast in a reddish hue because of the way the atmosphere bends the light, totally eclipse moons are sometimes called blood moons. We're seeing all the Earth's sunrises and sunsets at that moment, reflected from the surface of the moon, says Sarah Noble a program scientist at NASA headquarters. The January 31st supermoon will also be the second full moon of the month. Some people call the second full moon in a month a blue moon. That makes it a super blue moon. Blue moons happen every two and a half years on average. With the total eclipse, it will be a royal spectacle indeed a super blue blood moon. This video was made possible through the continued generosity of my patrons. To become a patron, follow the link in the description below. Thank you for watching the video. Drop a like and a comment down below and consider subscribing if you haven't done so as yet. Until next time, walk good.